Hi, I am Tom, founder of Adaptivate and former builder, here to share with you a little bit about our Breather Plaster solutions and how they are breathing life back into the buildings of tomorrow. In this short video, we introduce the products, the family, but also a little bit about what they are, how they work in your project, and why you might want to use them in your project. Adaptivate are leading the transition towards a low carbon construction industry. A construction industry that can be lower impact, but healthier for the buildings and the people that live within them. Our materials are drop-in solutions for the mainstream industry. Let's just take a moment to have a look at some of the problems that our products help solve. One in 10 buildings of solid wall construction are insulated currently. That leaves millions that need retrofitting or upgrading. Now, as we improve the air tightness and the thermal fabric of the building, of course, 14 litres of moisture are created each day from a family living in that house. That can lead to mould and condensation, and that's an ongoing problem. So let me introduce you to the Breather Plaster family. We have Breather Plaster Universal that's been on the market for five or six years, but now it's got two siblings. We have Breather Plaster Thermal and Breather Plaster Smooth to join a family of products that can make both a system or be standalone products. So let's start with our base coats. Breather Plaster Thermal. Designed to be a highly breathable, highly insulative, fast setting plaster. Specifically designed to go straight onto solid walls. It can be built up at 40 millimeters at a time with a two hour setting time, meaning that you can apply extra coats every two hours. This means you can build up the U value really quickly. A 25 millimeter application can get you a 40% uplift of U value on a standard solid wall. A 50 millimeter application can get you a 60% uplift of U value on a standard solid wall. Moving out from the wall, we have Breather Plaster Universal, designed to be a highly versatile, fast setting, breathable plaster. It can be used on a multitude of different substrates. It can be applied directly onto brick, block and stone, or it could be applied onto a board alternative, something like wood wool board or wood fibre board. It can also go directly onto plasterboard. This means that Breather Plaster Universal can be used anywhere in any building to be able to add lungs back to your building to help breathe with the people in that building. Here we've got David from Hawkland Construction using Breather Plaster Universal directly onto plasterboard. I definitely recommend using Breather Plaster Universal uh, to other plasters, especially if you're going for a demi-rustic finish. Um, it's really nice worked up with various um, textures of sponge float to give it different um, finishes from coarse to fine. If you're looking to not paint it, it uh, gives you a really nice texture at the end of the day. It's great for going onto plasterboard and other modern um, board applications. And now on to our super smooth finishing product, Breather Plaster Smooth, designed to be a fast setting, smooth finishing plaster, designed to go straight onto plasterboard as a two coat system in keeping with standard plastering times and tools, or it can be used onto our thermal and universal coats to be able to give a smooth, durable finish. Now let's look at our products as part of a system. You can look to Breather Plaster Thermal and possibly Universal and Smooth as a top coat as a wet plaster system which could be used to thermally insulate your building. You could also look towards an insulating board solution such as a wood fibre board which could then have Universal and Smooth on as a finishing coat. You then also might get partition systems such as wood wall board or standard plasterboard where our universal and smooth can be used to achieve either a textured or a smooth finish depending on what you're trying to achieve. Our products are called the Breather Plaster family because they breathe the people in the building. They've been developed to be a fabric first solution to reduce problems with mould and condensation and improve the energy efficiency of the building. How do they do that? Well, the porous structure within the material enables that 14 litres of moisture created every day by an average family through cooking and cleaning and whatnot to be absorbed into the material when that moisture is created. And then when they go out to work or they go to sleep, that moisture is breathed back out of the material. So it is a passive fabric first approach to creating warmer walls and healthier homes, reducing that problem with mould and condensation 
and reducing the energy demand of that building to maintain a healthy environment by around 20%. If we look at breather plaster systems in comparison to conventional thermal laminate systems, you can see that breather plaster enables the building to breathe, letting the moisture in and out of the building, whilst maintaining air tightness, but also allows the people in the building to breathe with it. When thermal laminates actually can quite often trap moisture, creating moisture in the walls or in the building, leading to mold and condensation. So breather plaster can enable you to achieve the same U values, but a system that is compatible with the people in the building without occupant knowledge, leading to healthier people in energy efficient houses. So let's go and have a look at this in action. Local to Stroud, there was an Enerfit project so a passive house retrofit on a solid wall property. Yayan and Ben from Prince Plastering Services were using Breather Plaster Universal and Smooth on this project. Let's see how they got on. People ask you to do lime, it's normally the, the job you're in, ah, oh, lime, it's not, it's not fun to work with, whereas this stuff is, is actually been really nice to work with. Great. It's been, it's been a nice job. So. Yeah, definitely. So what are the issues of lime that you find difficult? It's hard work to put on. Yeah. Drying time is a massive issue as well. It takes so long to dry. Your yeah. traditional lime is, is, a, is real tough to um, get a job done in, say, two or three days because yeah, you've got to come back drying. a week later because it's still drying. Yeah. And each, um, each hawk fork, when you're laying it on, is heavy with normal lime. Yes, like, really okay, heavy. Yeah. Where this stuff hasn't, hasn't felt really no, heavy with hawk It feels a lot more like normal plaster. Learning a new product, you always get problems because you're unsure on it. So when yeah. we're doing wars, um, we had a few parts where you might go over it too soon or the trowel at slightly the wrong angle and it scuffs okay. it. Um, this stuff here, we, we did a test patch um, earlier. So this was put on Thursday. Thursday, um, yeah. And we went back over it with some water literally about an hour ago and smoothed it back up. Um, and it's literally trowel so, back up nice. So any problems yeah. you do get, you, you can literally go straight back over it. It's workable. So, Within yeah. probably 48 hours, it's workable. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, so it's strong, you're not going to mark it but you can go over it and get any little spots off. So even if there is a problem, you've got plenty of time to fix it. Of course, it's essential that Breather Plaster is easy to get hold of and it's available through nationwide distribution and merchant networks. Let's hear from Andy Williamson from SIG about what he thinks about the products. I think the key advantages uh, for the Breather Plaster product into the marketplace is very much consumers as well as house builders are now are looking for a much healthier uh, household and, and clearly allowing the building to breathe and to reduce the risk of mold and condensation etc is a critical part of the uh, building fabric moving forward so i think you know a healthier building is a key part of that not notwithstanding the sustainable uh, features of this product as well Another key part for us as well as supporting Breathe the Plaster uh, and the Adaptivate business is, you know, we're a British company, very proud to be a British company, started in Sheffield, and we love to support British made products as well. What, what's interesting with Breathe the Plaster is it's been designed by ex-contractors. These are tradesmen that know what the barriers have been in the past. So actually they've adapted the product to really work for the tradesmen and also for the benefit of the householder. And of course, certifications, standards, and independent testing is so important to us. And you can see some of the certifications and affiliations that we have. Our product is made right here in Britain to ISO 9001. And we also work with some of the leading academic institutes in this space. But what's right at the heart of our business is our ecological and environmental impact. And that's why we built an environmental product declaration calculation tool verified by the BRE so that we can really lead the way and pave this transition towards a low carbon, healthy future. Adaptivate has created fabric first solutions in Breather Plaster family that will lead to warmer walls and healthier homes. Whilst not needing occupant knowledge of how they work, they're a fabric first solution. They're also easy to install, saving you time on site. We hope you've enjoyed hearing a little bit about how Adaptivate are paving the way to a low carbon, healthy future. And how Breather Plaster can help breathe a breath of fresh air into the buildings of tomorrow. And if you would like to discuss your project or a specification with us, please do get in touch with one of our team. We look forward to hearing from you.